Great. Um, America Barbie, MD, she's going to tell us all about the non-surgical men's hair replacement systems. She's going to talk about how to cut, install, how to clean them, how to maintain them. She's going to talk about the different kinds of why they should purchase them from her versus buying the cheap ones from China. So without further ado, Miracle Barbie MD, the floor is yours. Hi everyone, Miracle Barbie MD, here I am. I am here with a man unit and it's a kinky unit, which is really in high demand today. Um, a lot of Afro-American men um, have been doing the tracks and they no longer have to do the tracks. They have the unit, as you can see. And it's Afrocentric unit. I'm gonna bring it in close to the screen so you can see it's really an Afrocentric unit with kinky hair. And um, these guys are loving this unit. So I'm gonna now demonstrate to you um, what this unit does. But before I do that, let me just say to you that quality is everything. Um, and I sell the Phantom of the units, the Bentley of the units. So yes, you can go to China and buy some units, but you don't know what you're getting. At least me, you know, I'm a real person. I breathe. Um, I have some integrity when I sell you, sell your unit because I'm doing the service myself. So I want my clients and customers to have the best units. So you definitely want to buy these units. Um, they will last you nine months um, to a year with proper maintenance. And when I say proper maintenance, that means that the customer is coming back in the salon, in your studio, allowing you to service the unit. They're not trying to do something, some kind of home remedy, them, the home remedy themselves, and they may damage the unit. So with proper care, this unit here should last you nine months to a year. Okay, so um, without further ado, um, now I'm going to now go straight into um, what this unit will do. If you have a gentleman who has hair all around the sides and the back, and he's completely bald on the top, this unit, you can then shave this unit down. It can be shaved all the way down to an even Steven or whatever guard you want to put on it and blend it into their own hairline. I will recommend that when you go to blend around the sides, it's a shear, a thinning shear that I use that thins the hair out just a little. So when it goes to the blend, it doesn't have a heavy weight line. So that's important. You want to make sure you go all the way around with that and then blend back in. And it's more like fine tuning as you go. You'll be able to see each person's hairline is different. Each person's hair is different. Each person's grade is different, even though it may be kinky, but you still want to make sure you, you customize it for that client. So you can use this unit for that client. Say if that same client comes in and they say, hey, I don't want um, any short hair. I want to wear dreads. You can take the same unit and you can add dreads to it. And you can actually start to twist it or you can add dread extensions right to this unit to make it look like it's growing out of the scalp. So therefore your client then walks out with a dread look, which looks like it's growing out of his scalp. Then a guy may come in and say, I just want individual twists all over my head. You can take the same unit, cut it and shape it, to fit him, then go back and twist it. Um, two strand twist, two strand twist or twist over the comb is fine. Also, you may have someone who um, wants to do faux locks. Um, you can do faux locks with this um, also, the same unit. Um, once you cut it and you put it on the person's head so it looks like it's their own, their own hair. Um, you also can do um, kinky braids with the same unit. Uh, and you also want to make sure that you put the unit on the cl client's head and make sure that it fits their look perfectly and then start the new style that they want to wear. But this unit here 
will last you nine months to a year. Um, I'll show you the back of the unit. It's, it's kind of somewhat even all the way around. Uh, it has lace all the way around the unit. I don't know if you can see it, but it has lace. See the lace there? Mm -hmm. And it has lace in the front also. So which means if you were to cut um, a hairline in really, really close, it's going to still look natural. Mm -hmm. um, I like your units because basically those units act like a client's real hair. They can braid it, twist it. And I'm going to go on Instagram and show some of the um, examples of that so the barbers can really see that because I hadn't seen any units on the market like yours. Uh, with the quality, the texture, um, the longevity of them. Because I wear units myself. I mean, I have a unit on. Uh, most people see me uh, online. But your units are the best out there. So I know a lot of the barbers, they will be able to go um, to your site and purchase them, miraclebarbymd.com. Uh, we also will be carrying more of them at manweaveunit.com. Now, do you want... Tell me um, about the online class also. Uh, let them know about that, how the barbers will be able to take those classes and about maintaining them. Because a lot of the barbers are not educated on cutting and installing and maintaining these permanent units. A lot of them do the track units where you buy the hair in a bundle or a track from the local beauty supply place for $10 and you lay it on the head, you know, with the glue, you put the glue down. But the only thing about that, you can't scratch it. If it itches, you got to tap it with the ink pen or something. Um, you can't go swimming in it. You, you really can't work out. You can't get it wet. Um, you can't brush it. You can't comb it. You, you can't do any of that. If you cut it, you got to freehand it. But just like this lace unit, I was able to cut that with a, a guard all the way down and it fits perfect. And you even show them how to measure the, the, the head so the unit will fit like a glove, like a custom made suit just for them. So um, can you go into that? Well, uh, to elaborate what you were just talking about, um, when you are gonna be doing um, your client, you definitely wanna measure first. And I'll often trial measure, I'll go in and I'll, put the little dots here, dots here. I'll make sure I do the one, two, three with my fingers to make sure I'm going correctly with their hairline. And I'll even mark back here because I like to be perfect. Um, then I would take the unit off after I made my markings and everything. I would even turn it upside down, turn it, turn it inside out and make sure that those markings match. And then I'll go back in and cut it. Then after I cut it, I'll put it back on again just to make sure, and I feel like it's best to be a hair off too much than a hair off too little. So say if you go back in and you realize that I've cut it, but it's just a little too big, that, that's no big deal. That, that, that can be fixed. That's, that's easy. Go on and prepare your client. You're going to shave the head, um, get them prepared. You're going to make sure you use alcohol first, then shave the head or even peroxide, um, then clean the, the scalp again. Go ahead and apply your adhesive. Once the adhesive uh, uh, dries like a glaze and it's tacky, but it dries clear, you are ready to then apply your unit. You're then going to take the unit, and I'm going to stand up. You're not going to see me, but you are going to see the unit. Okay, so let's just say this unit was going to be applied all over again, and it's been cut and it's ready to be put on the client. First, I gotta get it off. I'm sorry, I gotta get it off to then put it back on. I've applied the adhesive to the markings of where it's supposed to go. Since I've applied the adhesive to the markings where it's supposed to go, then now I am going to apply the unit. So since the unit has already been pre-cut, these edges would have been gone. I will go in, make sure that it's where it's supposed to be, take my fingers and you will start to roll with your ring fingers and you're going to roll back and keep rolling back and keep rolling back until it goes on 
Of course, it won't slip at all because it have adhesive. I'm holding it. But let's just say those two little sides that you thought were too much to overlap, you can go in with the scissors that I'm talking about, the shears, and snip that off, snip that off, and then seal it in perfectly to fit like a glove. So don't ever worry about cutting um, too big. Worry about cutting too small because you can't put back there what you've then taken away. Um, in terms of, I want you to see the scalp that is on here. I want you can see that. Where well, I've actually parted with my fingers. See that? That's a real scalp. So that's the kind of stuff that your clients are going to be accustomed to. With the track unit, you can't do that because you'll end up messing up the tracks and then you'll have to start all over. With this, you can part it anywhere you want to go. If the guy wants to do a Gumby uh, with the side part, uh, see, he can do what he wants to do. Um, and after two months, he takes his same unit here off and he's gonna put this unit right back on. The only thing you may have to do once he puts it back on, you may have to fine tune where his hair may have grown. So you gotta go back in and shave his hair and make it blend to the unit. But other than that, this is, this is actually his unit. Um, I just love them. I love them. I love these units, especially for the uh, Afro-American men. Um, this is this is so um, ingenious for them. This is very very ingenious. Now, in terms of the online courses, I'm gonna sit back down so you can see me when I talk about this. With the online courses. Just imagine you go to a class and they teach you in the class this technique. And you go home and you forget 50% of what you learned in class. With the online courses, you are able to roll back the tape whenever you want to and look at where you were weak at to make you stronger. So then you become an expert at what you're doing because repetition makes you better. Repetition you know, brings, brings greatness. So the online courses are great because you can go at your own pace. You can look at it every day if you would like and master your craft. Where if you go in a classroom, it's great to go in and learn, I will say, because you will learn a lot. But then you have to go home and figure it out. With the online course, it's already figured out for you. All you have to do is tap into that course and keep pushing the button and keep pushing play and play it over and over and over and over again. And then once you have mastered the hair replacement, you'll be glad that you took the online course. Mm. Now, with the online class, the great thing about that, they can just take it wherever, whenever. They can take it from an electronic device, from their cell phone. Uh, as soon as they do the transaction, they get immediate lifetime access. Um, I know with the live classes, it's so much information that people can't remember all of that stuff because they don't have a photographic memory. So by taking your online class, they can just watch it a thousand times or a million times and pause it, play it step by step. So that's really uh, genius and next level new age stuff. So I'm glad that you're offering this to the barbers and the stylists. And, yes. Yeah, so that, that's really good. Now with the um, your units, because a lot of barbers have complained about having uh, cheap units where they've been buying them from, from China and they've been tearing up and not lasting and they've charged clients all of this money and now they've torn up. So basically they get what they pay for, but your units are like the Ferrari, uh, the Bugatti, the Rolls Royce, they're the highest quality. Yes, yes. I love the quality. Um, I believe in quality, as I said when I started and um, that's the only way I go. And that's the only way you really, really want to go with your clients. You want the best for your clients. It may cost a little more, but um, 
your clients really believe in you as their stylist and they want the best. So yes, my, my, the, the units that I use are really high end units, high quality, the best hair, um, and they do last. But, and, and your adhesive, you even use a special adhesive that they can only buy from you. Um, that adhesive, I know a lot of barbers, they use uh, Ghost Bond Platinum. I know I always recommended Ghost Bond Platinum until I was introduced to your uh, adhesive. I mean, that's almost like a, a gorilla glue of the adhesive, the way it keeps their hair on there because that's the last thing you wanted to do for the hair to come off or that unit to come off. So I know you have a special adhesive that only you sell from your website along with a few other of your specialized secret products. Can you tell us about that, uh, those products? Well, the adhesive, I love, um, there's like two or three different ones that, that are my go-to adhesives. And you're right, you cannot get the adhesives um, just off the shelves. And the reason why, because they really are strong. So as a professional, you have to be a professional licensed cosmetologist or barber to be able to get them. I would sell them to, you know, those, those type of um, clients. But the one I really like is the waterproof adhesive. Um, it's um, waterproof and it really holds in water. So if the client goes swimming or if they're, if they're a person that works out or if they're a um, if they are a sweater and they sweat a lot, this one really, really holds. Um, and I always do a skin test. You want to do a skin test on your client because you want to make sure they're not allergic. Some clients don't even know what they're allergic to. Um, do a skin test on the top of their wrist, like one little dab. Um, and uh, why are you preparing for everything else? And if they don't break out, you know, you can use this one on them. There are two other ones that I like to use, which is strictly for lace. One is for poly. So you really have to know, too, what type of fabric you're using in the unit to pick the adhesive and then based on the person's lifestyle. That's how you're gonna pick your adhesives. And then if you want to then sell them to your client, um, some clients will actual them, you can retail a little 1.3 ounce bottle to your client. Okay, and you even have the client consultation forms in a Word document so uh, barbers and stylists, they can download that when they take the online course, download those documents to their computer, and then they can actually type their name in the top and then print it out as their own. So when a client comes in, they have their clipboard with their client consultation, all those documents, and they, I mean, it's like a, I feel like a doctor with all of those documents. Yes, it's somewhat like an online university, like you just like you just said, in a sense, because you will get your document, you will get your client um, summary, your client profile, you'll get your how to measure their head, even how to, this is another level, how to write invoices for someone who can then go through insurance. And with insurance, the VA is the top right now for insurance. So if you got some guys who've been in the military in the past, they're not in now, but they were, they can then get a script, we can do an invoice, and then you can get paid through the VA, which is money all day long. Which and I know like you have an online class for that. that that's going to be very beneficial because there are a lot of barbers out here teaching these uh, live classes saying that, uh, you'll learn about insurance. And I've talked to all these barbers all across the country and they give them these two to three little documents. And I know that's not insurance and there's no way uh, they'll be able to file the insurance. So I'm glad that you're really giving the real deal uh, with your online courses so they can actually um, get their money's worth and get paid. For each state, um, I have the information for the VA, for the particular VA institution that you must go to to get the qualification, get the certification. So I will be sharing that too also. So for each state, Washington DC has one, Vermont has one, New York has one, but you have to go to this one particular one. So I do have that individual information also. 
Okay. Now, when and when they get the unit, so since the VA is paying for it, how much um, is the barber going to charge the client, the VA? Now, depending on how much the VA pays, so you want to find out basically the the barber find out from the VA how much the VA is paying. Is it paying 100%? Is it paying 80%? Or it, are they taking invoices from you and then doing the reimbursement? So you need to find out once you get the information just how each VA operates. So say if the VA allows your one client $2,000, $3,000, then you can say, okay, let me allow this client to get two or three good units and let them pay for their own maintenance. And they can come and get maintenance every month. Take it off, put it back on. Because the VA has paid for the bulk of it. But that's $3,000 or $4,000 in your pocket immediately. And then you then put the client on a retainer where they pay monthly for their maintenance, which could be $150, which could be $300. It, it depends on what you got to do for that client. Um, so I know you talked about in another previous uh, interview or video about the money that barbers can make because the average barber is probably cutting anywhere from 10 to maybe 20 heads per day. He's probably doing up to 100 heads uh, per week, uh, working themselves to death behind that chair. But with your techniques and your system, they can now work smart and not hard. And the more they learn, the more they can earn. So um, tell us the type of money that a barber can make with this. Well, you, what you just said was so true. Um, as a barber, if the barber's charging $20, right? And they do 100 clients in a week, which is a lot of heads. And they're tired, they're drained. No That's social $2, life. That's $2,000. That's $2,000. And they're, they're drained. And they have no social life. They're in the they're in the barber shop all day, all night, just missing their kids, missing their wives, and everything. You now can make two to three thousand dollars off of one person, as opposed to a hundred people. So you could work. You could do one client in one day and make more than a barber would make all week doing a hundred. Okay. Exactly. So if the barber says, "I want to work three, four days a week." and take the rest of the days off, you still are making more money than a barber who's burning midnight oil, who's working himself to death. Now, I know some men don't have those thousands of dollars to um, actually do the permanent units. And I know a lot of barbers are doing the track and the bundle units where they get the $10 hair and, the, um, and they lay it on the head with the glue. But they still make it 300 on that. But with that type of unit, they can't scratch their head. No, There's a lot cannot. of things that they cannot uh, do that they can do with this permanent. Yes, um, they cannot scratch their head. They cannot get in the shower like a traditional man would and just shower his head and wash his hair. Um, with this, you can get in the shower. If you want to go swimming, you can scratch your head out in public. You don't have to worry about you don't have to tap and pat. You don't have to do any of this. It's just like it's your own hair. Um, some gentlemen, they, they work outside in dust. Um, they cut grass all day. You still can go in and get a shower and then come back out and feel like a normal person. If you have the track unit, you are going to cover <laughs> That's right. your head with a do-rag and go outside and cut your grass. Because mm -hmm. if you mess that, that, that track hair up, you're done. Now, do you have to sleep with a do-rag with the permanent unit? Absolutely not. Okay, because with, with the tracks, you got to sleep with a do-rag. Um, and even when you take that do-rag off with that synthetic hair, you still have some little straggly ends sticking up. And if you're not a barber, you won't be able to take those clippers and cut those straggly ends. And so I recommend that permanent unit, although although the track unit, you know, it's pretty good, but it's not going to last. And the minute you sweat, I mean, it starts sticking up. But for just that part alone, that it doesn't last and that you can't scratch your scalp 
and that if you make one mistake or um, if you're in the heat and heat against that synthetic hair makes it frizz up, then you got to go back and get the, the barber to buzz it or you got to try to buzz it yourself or put the do-rag back on to lay it down. It has a lot of limitations. I'll say that. There's, there are a lot of limitations with it. Um, yeah. Prior to having this man unit, a lot of guys were settling because they had nothing, no other choice. Now you have the Phantom or the Bentley choice that you can choose and wear all day long. Because I, I had a track unit and you can't even touch that unit. And even when you wear that do-rag and take that do-rag off in the morning, you still got straggled ed uh, edges. Every day I was taking the clippers and trimming them little edges with my left hand and right hand. And I was thinking, man, it's got to be something better than this. Because when these barbers do these clients and they spend $300 or more, I know that man is upset the next day or the next couple of days after they spent $300 or more and they hair sticking up and got the little straggly ends and even getting in the car. I mean, you can't, your hair cannot touch anything. No. And what about around the edges? What if you sweat and then it starts to roll up on you and all you can do is try to tie it down because the edges are now messed up and you can't go back and re-glue it. So with the tracks, those edges are just going to be sticking up. And then that's when the guys have to go all the way back and start all over and get it done all over again. And then your $300 is really down the drain. Um. Because even when it gets wet or you sweat, it even starts uh, looking white and filmy around there. Yeah. I've wore those units for a long time. And I mean, I can tell you all about those units. That's why I'm so just ecstatic about yours. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I am too. I am too. <laughs> I am too. And my male clients love them. And, um, um, I also offer the straight units with this type of unit. I also offer curly. Uh, so my gentlemen who are either Spanish or from Dubai uh, or, or Indian origin or naturally wavy hair, I do have um, those type of units. And then for my clients who um, are of the more European um, origin, we have the straight ones that can be colored or you may order a custom unit uh, which is specifically just your hair texture and color, which costs a lot more. Okay. I, I want to show them uh, before and after and how great your units are. So I'm going to share this screen and let them see. And you can talk about some stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what about that premature baldness? What about the premature baldness? You see how my hairline is receding? Okay, yes, yes. That's your natural hairline. Okay. And that? That's your natural hairline too, yes. So you started losing hair probably in your 20s? Yes. Mm-hmm. And when it starts to go early like that, it's not coming back. So then you have to do um, the non-surgical hair replacement if you want to enhance your look. Now, that's one of the permanent units. And, and what I like about your, your permanent units, you can take a guard and the clippers and cut it down to the length that you want. And it looks so natural. Yes, you can, you can cut it down to whatever... Oh, that looks amazing. You cut it down to whatever your style and liking is. Yes, exactly. And it's going to last you much longer. You can scratch your head. You don't have to worry about being out in public. And That was a track unit when I took the tracks out. I can tell. Yes. I can tell. And then you talked about how when the unit gets damp or wet or whatever, it, it starts rolling up. And I, and I just had to roll it back. So... That's why they need to go to MiracleBarberMD.com to get that permanent unit. Yes. It will be life-changing. 
Yes. All right. Um, let's go to Instagram because I want you to. Um, you talked earlier about uh, different units. And I just want to go to uh, some pages on Instagram because I know you do a lot of units because you actually said that uh, you could do the twist uh, on the units. And I did see a twisty uh, unit uh, where a guy did that was pretty amazing. And I know you can do that with all of your units. So let's share this screen because you can do that with your units too, right? Yes, that is actually twisted over the comb. That's what that is. It's actually twisted over the comb. So once you cut the unit down, blend it, make it look like it's the person's hair, mm -hmm. then you can go in and twist that over the comb. Okay. Um, I want to check out some other units. Because I know you say you can do all of that. I've actually seen the units with the braids uh, in them also. Now, tell us about the wavy units. You you even you have wavy units too? Well, actually, this unit here, when it's cut down, you can actually um, lay it down with a scully or do rag, and when you tie it down, it'll have the waves in it because the hair is is woven into this unit as if it was somebody's natural braid of their hair. So okay. therefore, when you go in and cut it, it's going to lay with the grade, especially if you're cutting the, the hair like it's their own natural hair. So then you, it'll look just like that picture there. Or mm -hmm. this guy here who has the um, curly, the texture look, you can take and sponge this. Okay. Or, or you can texturize it down to give you that look. Now, when you sponge it, do you sponge it with, on the client's head or do you sponge it before you apply it to the client's head. I like to sponge it on the client's head because you're really customizing the look on their head. So you really get a custom look. It looks just like it was meant for them. Now, when you sponge it on their head, have you already applied the adhesive and everything? Yes, adhesive is fully dry and everything. Fully dry. So that, that unit's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere because it's their hair now. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Mm, I wanted to see what a uh, unit that had the braids, because I know um, you say you can braid that unit also. Yes, with the braids, the, you, the hair would be a little more softer, be more like a kinky curly hair. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can blow dry it out a little bit, and you can go in and braid that unit. Okay, so you can basically do everything with that unit then that a person can do with their real hair. Now, I want to go to your actual page, Miracle Barbie. Miracle Barbie MD. Make sure I spelled everything right. Okay, Miracle Barbie MD, here we go. Because you actually did a guy's hair that was amazing. Um, he had straight hair. You put a unit on this guy. Also, yeah, you can also put a bun on those units too, can't you? Yes, you can do a bun, um, ponytail. Yeah. I can't wait to see all of those because you're going to have all those different techniques at the, on the online course. Yeah, amazing. I want to find a guy that you did that had the straight hair and you relax. There it is. Tell us about that. Okay, now I really I want you to go to the other one. Okay. Well, I, did that, I did that guy twice, but I want to show you the first time I did him. Okay. Well, he had a mini afro when he walked in and he says, I want a straight bob like uh, I've had my hair relaxed. So um, once we find a photo, we will be able to elaborate. Okay, there are some twists that you did. Yes. 
And it just looks natural, like it's just coming out the scalp. Yes. I mean, it just looks so natural. And that's why I like doing the twisties. Here we go with the guy right here. You found him. Go, go back. There you go. Over to the... There you go. That's why I like doing it um, freehand, customized, because you can then twist it right to the person's hair. But this guy here came in. He was all natural. I had to relax his hair down, which I was going to be leaving on his head. And after I relaxed everything down, I shaved his head. And now you can see the unit's actually on there. And it looks just like it's his own scalp. Then I then went in and blue dry and clipper cut it. Now I'm styling. And it looks just like it's his own hair. But this guy had kinky curly hair when he came in. So knowing um, what skills or what tools to use to get this look is what helped me, helped me um, accomplish this look for him. And he loved it. Now, what type of hair did you use for that? I use not straight hair because as Afro-Americans, straight hair is just, this lays too flat. We don't have any, it doesn't have any volume. So I use like a light body wave hair. Then when I applied it, I took and blue dry it. And then I went back in and clipper cut it to blend it to his hair. But I use like a body wave. I never use straight when the person has texture already in their hair. Now, was, a Caucasian client, it would have been straight hair. Was that a body wave unit? Yes, a body wave unit. So the units come in body wave, they come in straight, curly, and um, kinky afro. Yeah, that, that would seem like that would be a very popular unit um, for a lot of the guys, a, a certain group. Specific. Yes, that, a absolutely. Um, a lot of men who have naturally curly hair, um, Indian um, gentlemen like them, the guys from Dubai, um, Spanish guys like them. Um, mm -hmm. You even may have a mixed gentleman who may be black and white or who may be uh, European and Spanish or European and Cuban or something like that. You just got to know texture for texture. So when a client comes in, even though they may say, I want A, B, C, and D, you as a professional need to make sure that you are educate, educating them on what unit is best for the style they want and the hair texture that they have on their head, if there's going to be any hair left to match. That's important. Texture for texture is, is everything. Okay. I know you do a lot of the guys from the Middle East, like Dubai, a lot of Indian guys. And I saw one on your Instagram that you did that was amazing. And I wanted to go back to your Instagram and find that so you can uh, tell us about the guy from um, the Indian guy or Dubai guy, because that's one of that's a big market uh, as far as your clientele. So I want to share the screen and tell us about that. Okay, great. Do you see it? Not yet. Once we get there, I'll... Is that it to the right? Well, yeah, that's, that, that's the video to the right, yes. Okay. I'm going to play it. You might, Make sure you speak loud so we can hear you. Okay, great. This guy came in for a um, return service. So here I'm cleaning the unit after the unit was taken off of his scalp. Now I'm cleaning his scalp. As you can see, now the unit has been cleaned and now it's ready to be reapplied to his hair. So once you clean the unit, and I'm using this special comb also, which I will share on my website. Once the unit is really clean, I let the unit dry, air dry. Once it's air dry, I then get it ready for the client. Now I'm shaving the client's hair making sure that there's no hair in the way. Now I'm doing my markings to make sure I'm marking it back perfectly where it was before. And now I'm getting ready to apply the unit. Now the unit is on. And I talked about edges earlier. If you have excess, don't worry. Go back and trim and place it right in place. He's happy. He loves his hair. And you can't tell that he was 
75 percent bald. Yeah, that really looked good. Yes, he loved it. And that was his second install with my same, same high quality unit. And then he'll be back in a month and a half, maybe two months with that same high quality unit and he'll pay for another install. Now, so I wanna just say a barber, cause I know a lot of them will be buying units from you. Uh, they always ask me, we'll be carrying some of your units also. When they get the unit, so if a client comes to a barber, they use the client consultation form, some, the forms that you provided, and they get a, a deposit from the client. So they can take that client's deposit and actually pay you to purchase the unit and then the unit comes and then that barber can ch charge them for the rest of the uh, price of the unit and for the install. Is that correct? Or Absolutely. And, and I, will, I will have information in the um, online that tells you how you are to um, prospect your client, how you're able to get them to pay their deposit. The net deposit then is non-refundable. You then can purchase a unit from me. You would do all your measurements that day, find out the, all the ins and outs about them, their personal life, um, their hair issues. Um, you'll find out everything. Um, and it's a form that, it's about a five page form that they will fill out for you. It's a great way to find out who you are servicing. And once you know who you are servicing, then you can service them to the best of your ability. So that, that you definitely want to make sure that they put a deposit down. And when someone puts a deposit down, you know they're for sure. They're not wasting your time. I always charge a $50 to $100 consultation fee regardless. That is non-refundable. It's credited toward any service they may come back and get. And that's just for someone to ask me questions. We're not talking about actually getting, getting um, a unit uh, or actually putting down a deposit. This is just for someone who just wants to know questions. Because sometimes people will come and ask you questions and go with, with your answers. So time is money, so you should charge for just consultation, just wordage, or if they're going to get a unit from you, they put a deposit down, and then you can order. So a consultation, how much should a barber charge for a consultation? Well, I charge $50 to $100, and that's just for a word consultation, which means I am giving them some knowledge, and they're not ready to order. If they are ready to order, then I will scratch the consultation. It's already into the price that the unit will cost anyway. So you don't lose anything you gain. But say if someone comes in your barbershop or your salon, and they just think they want to do non-surgical hair replacement, and then they walk out and say, oh, I don't think I'm ready they still have to pay a consultation fee. So you let them know the consultation fee up front is 50 to $100. And mm -hmm. then you sit down with them 20 minutes and you give them an overview of what non-surgical hair replacement is. Um, and what happens most of the time, that then turns into a deposit. And the deposit, how much should they take down for a deposit? Um, I believe at least a third. A third. So if something, just say they're doing a unit for $1,500, is that a good $1,500? Yeah, $1,500 is good. Yeah, $1,500 is good. Okay, so $500 deposit. Yes. Okay, and then yes. they'll be able to purchase a good unit from you. A good unit, um, some adhesives, maybe um, extra adhesive that the client can take with them and they have everything they need, and then the $1,000 is profit. Okay. On top of when they come back every month or every two months for maintenance, that's profit. Mm-hmm. Now, because the maintenance you said is anywhere from three to $500? Um, it can be. Barber. Yes, mm -hmm. for the barber, yes. And, and that maintenance, they're going to tell us what they're going to do, shampoo, they're going to actually take the unit completely off. Mm -hmm. They're going to clean the person's scalp, clean the unit. Um, the, the person may say, I want to get some color on a unit. If they want to get color, that's a la carte. You would then add in a, another price for color. Um, once you get everything cleaned, the person's hair is clean, the scalp is clean, 
you've um, used peroxide or alcohol to disinfect, you let the unit dry, then you're going to go back and do the um, non-surgical hair replacement adhesive. Um, once it dries to a clear glaze, it's a little tacky, you're going to then apply the unit. I let them set um, under a cool, warm dryer, um, never a hot dryer, always just like a cool, warm dryer, and then I'll take them to cool, which means I'll pull the hood up, and then their natural body temperature will, will let it seal in. When you see it dry, crystal clear, you know it's ready to go. Okay, so when you put that adhesive on them, that glue, you say you let them sit up under a dryer? I like to do that because it really seals it in, but it's not a hot dryer. Because mm -hmm. hot dry with adhesive makes it melt. I like to do it with a cool dryer just so it can start to like cool it down um, and make it dry even better. Um, you can let them set in the air, just natural air in the room, but it's a little longer. So I do a cool dryer, which gives you an even um, flow of air over the head, which helps to dry a little faster and seals it even more. How many coats of, of adhesive glue do you put on there? Um, normally two. Two? One, yeah, normally two. Because I know that Ghost Bond Platinum, um, Bold Hole, a lot of other, those other adhesives, they put about three or four coats on there. No, this, this, this glue is really, really good. Um, it's the best on the market. I, I love it. You can do one and a half. You can do, it, and it depends on the person's body temperature too. Some people's body temperature um, reacts to the glue differently and you'll be able to tell each client. So someone's temp, body temperature will soak up the glue and you just do another one right away. And then some people, I've done even just one application of glue, especially on my women, and it's worked well. That must be some strong glue. It is, it's very strong. Yeah, and, and the barbers, they really need that because that's one of the negatives and obstacles that they're always talking about, that the glue is not holding the way it should, especially when the men work out and sweat. Exactly, exactly. And with the water repellent glue, um, they'll really enjoy the benefits of that. Okay. Um, now, so they'll be able to go to MiracleBarbieMD.com they can get the mail units. Um, they'll learn about the VA, the insurance. Uh, they'll know about all the tools that they're going to need, the adhesives. So it's like a one-stop shop. Absolutely. And they'll be able to go back and revisit that site and keep learning that stuff over and over so it becomes repetitious. So they'll be able to just talk right off the cuff about the services that they do and what they offer. And being able to go to that portal and look at that daily or every other day or whatever they want in their spare time, I think is an excellent, excellent feature to, that's going to be there. So that Miracle Barbie MD University. So yes. they'll learn all of that. Okay. And you also uh, teach live classes, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh speak at shows, um, celebrity hairstylists, but you specialize in uh, non-surgical hair replacement. Yes, I'm a stylist of 30 years and I've done uh, hair, women's hair, long before um, the non-surgical hair replacement took off. I was on a lot of custom-made wigs and units and then the non-surgical hair replacement became so in demand that um, that is now the forefront of my business. And I work um, smarter and mm -hmm. not harder. Yeah, you really do. Because even with, with the barbers, they've never been able to make this type of money. Never. I remember starting back in 1989, haircuts were like $5. But now with this non-surgical hair replacement for a barber, they can do a unit on the low end for $1,500. That means all they need is 67 clients to make six figures. That's it. 67 times $1,500. That's over $100,000 right there. 67 exactly. clients? That's unheard of. 67 clients, and then you put them on a retainer, which means they come back for their maintenance. And they're going to come back, because I'm going to tell you something. 
uh, people who don't have hair, it's like someone who doesn't have a leg or you don't have a, a, a finger and, and you have this finger in the box you got to put on every morning. It becomes valuable. Oh, yeah. So they become longtime clients and faithful clients. They're coming you, back. Yes. I, mean, you, I see my hair. I mean, I don't want to go without this. I no, mean, they don't. They do not. Hmm. And if you do quality work, they will be a lifetime client. You know, so um, it's, it's, it's money in the bank, especially once you really get into it and you find clients that really, really love your service and they continue to be your client. Um, anything you else would you like to share with the men, the, the barbers, and a lot of women hairstylists are getting into this field? I know it's a specialized field. And you can make a ton of money. I would say to um, the barbers who are tired of the rat race, they're tired of um, standing behind the chair seven days a week, um, just basically just killing yourself to make a decent living for your family. If you're looking for something different and something new, um, something that will stick in this industry, something that has shown it is sticking in this industry, we now have these um, man units, which is gonna make your life so much easier. Um, I would say get on board. I would say take a class. I would say um, go to my online university. I would say, um, you know, call me, inbox me. Um, have me come to your barbershop and do some classes. But first of all, you must um, educate yourself um, by joining the online university, taking a class and learning more about this. And then once you are sure, then invite me into your barbershop for a class for your, for your barbers. Okay. Well, uh, and, and another thing I must also share too is that for a barbershop who decides he wants to do this 100%. He then um, has to have an NPI number and get some type of certification. So um, by me being a licensed cosmetologist and a certified non-surgical hair replacement specialist, I will then, once I offer classes, be able to give them a certificate that says they are now certified. Because you have to have an NPI number in order to receive insurance. Uh, NPI number, but they can learn that in the online course. Absolutely. That's going to be in that kit. Everything they're going to need to know to take their business to the next level. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And then some, some people will pay with cash. And then a lot of these VA veterans or some of these young gentlemen that have been in the military, you can go through their VA and what their VA won't pay. The guy can sure enough pay out of his pocket. And so they get, uh, Lifetime access. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's great. Um, okay, Miracle Barbie MD. So make sure you go to MiracleBarbieMD.com. Um, if you're a male, female barber, and you want to learn this non-surgical men's hair replacement, you're probably the first person um, one of, probably one of the very few that do men's surgical hair replacement because I don't know any barbers that know how to do that. They Absolutely. Do the right Absolutely. And if they come on board and they're in their own state, they can take over that state and then start having people um, come to them and work underneath for them because it is in high demand, but not a lot of people are doing it. Okay. I thank you very much. Thank you. All right.